Welcome to Little Steps Big Gains. In this video, we're going to talk about the coin rotation test, a quick, effective, and convenient task of motor speed and motor dexterity. When it comes to assessing motor dexterity, Clinicians have a plethora of standardized tests. A few common ones include that group pegboard test, finger tapping, or just assessing grip strength using a hand dynamometer. Now, while the value of those tests is undisputable, there is that cost of equipment and they can be cumbersome on a bedside exam. So what's another convenient and yet effective test for motor dexterity? The coin rotation test. The coin rotation test was developed as a simple, inexpensive screening tool for individuals with subtle or minor motor impairments. So how do you do this test? Well, you need one thing, a U.S. nickel to implement. That individual is asked to take that nickel and rotate it 20 consecutive 180 degree turns using the first, second, and third fingers only. It doesn't matter if they rotate towards or away from the body. Three trials are performed and each trial is timed. The test can be done on the bed, bedside table, or even in the examiner's hands. If a coin is dropped and it's only a few seconds, like on the actual surface, the examiner can help that individual quickly retrieve that coin and the timer's not stopped. However, if that coin is dropped somewhere like on the floor where it's more than a few seconds, that examiner needs to stop that timer and help that individual retrieve that coin to start up again. So now that we know how simple this coin rotation test is, the question is, how valid is it? One study linked in that description below went ahead and compared the coin rotation test with three traditional measures. The ones I mentioned earlier, that group pegboard test, finger tapping, and then assessing grip strength through that hand dynamometer. In that study, they went ahead and recruited 26 right-handed men with unilateral cerebral lesions and tested them alongside a standard sample of 60 right-handed men. The results of this study showed that the coin rotation test demonstrated good convergent and divergent validity when compared to other standardized motor measures. It was successful in differentiating control and brain damaged groups with mild motor impairment. And it demonstrated an overall classification rate of 84.9%. Levels of sensitivity and specificity of that coin rotation test were comparable with or better than other standardized tests of manual dexterity. The coin rotation test offers a valid and quick convenient bedside measure of subtle motor impairment. Interesting, right? Well, a few other things that coin rotation task can be great homework for manual dexterity, and then it can also be a great measure to monitor motor dexterity through the course of an illness. And that is the coin rotation test. Simple, ineffective, convenient, inexpensive test for motor speed and motor dexterity. If you found this video helpful, please press that like below, subscribe, and check out my channel for free educational videos and free home exercise programs because little steps together, we can make some big gains.